at this giant cathedral in front of us too. Holy crap. Hello interwebs and welcome back. I'm Shannon and this is why I share my life and stories of interest and opinions and whatever else I feel like. And today we are back with another Vietnam adventure video. In this video we head over to the Hanoi prison camp also known as the Hanoi Hilton and just to give you a little bit of background on the way there I made a friend because as I was walking I kept passing and then being passed by the same guy over and over and over again. And then eventually I mustered up the courage to ask him, hey, are you going to the prison camp as well? And he was like, yeah, my name's Bridger. And so Bridger and I actually ended up spending most of the day together and having a really great time wandering Vietnam and Hanoi. I really enjoyed his company. But without too much rambling, let's go ahead and get into the prison camp and learn a little bit of the history here. Let's go. Wow. Beep, beep, beep. This is a quick reminder to let you guys know that you should hit that subscribe button if you haven't. And if you like the video at any point, go ahead and hit that like button as well. Sorry for the interruption. I'm going to shut up now and let's get back to the video. So I didn't explain this. As you guys might notice, I get a little shy about talking to my camera, especially around people who aren't familiar with my camera habits. But we decided to do the audio tour of the prison camp, and this was a great decision. The stories were told by ex-prisoners, and everything was so detailed, engaging, and emotional. The entrance fee to get in was about 30,000 Vietnamese dollars, or a dollar 30 US. The audio tour was only a couple of dollars as well, and they give you your deposit back upon returning the headset. Detention Camp D. Most of them have been destroyed. This one's still here. These are the original entrance doors to the prison. The American prisoners of war coined the name the Hanoi Hilton for the Hoa Lo, forgive my awful pronunciation, prison which was built between 1886 and 1901. Despite this American nickname, the locals knew the prison as Hoalo, which translates to fiery furnace. And many Americans also called it Hellhole. Nonetheless, the actual name was something less sinister sounding, coming from French with the name La Maison Centrale. This place was far from the luxury of a Hilton. Hundreds were tortured there with meat hooks and iron chains, including notable figures like John McCain. While some, like Senator John McCain, were lucky enough to emerge alive, many were not so lucky, including 114 American prisoners of war. stupid but I just got really upset the energy in there was so 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 heavy I can't <laughs> so cutting in again I was too embarrassed in this moment to explain fully why I was so emotional and what happened but for those of you who don't know I am very much an empath I feel energy in places and some of you might think that's woo and crazy but if, if you're not into that that's fine just listen to the rest of the story so the room that you just saw is where they kept prisoners who were in isolation and the floor in that place was designed so that it was at an angle and the prisoners feet were shackled at the top and if they lay down, all of the blood rushes to their head. And if they sit up, it takes a lot of energy and a lot of muscle to do that. Also, when they have to use the restroom, um, 
all of their excrement goes down where they are either sitting or laying and where their head is. And it wasn't just that, it wasn't just the darkness, but walking into that room, I was just completely overwhelmed with emotion and with the energy of that place and the darkness and all of the feelings that I was picking up on there. And it, it was just, it was too much for me and I had to leave and I sat outside of the room crying and it was embarrassing for me especially being around somebody who I had just met but it was just it was something else like the feeling that I got in that place was overwhelming and sad and I'm grateful that we were there on a beautiful sunny day because walking out into the sunshine definitely helped me recover more quickly but I just I, I can't I can't believe the way that humans treat each other and have treated each other throughout history and I think that it's really important that we see and we experience these things for ourselves and if you don't ever have that opportunity hopefully that this video and other videos that I share with you are able to convey these things in a way that is constructive so that way we can learn from it and we never have to repeat it again but yeah that's that's what happened i don't want to go into all of the details of the torture that was done here to both the vietnamese by the french colonials and the american prisoners but here is a quote from prisoner of war sam johnson as a prisoner of war in the hanoi hilton I could recall nothing from military survival training that explained the use of a meat hook suspended from the ceiling. It would hang above you in the torture room like a sadistic tease. You couldn't drag your gaze from it. During a routine torture session with the hook, the Vietnamese tied a prisoner's hands and feet, then bound his hands to his ankles, sometimes behind the back, sometimes in the front. The ropes were tightened to the point that you couldn't breathe. Then bowed or bent in half, the prisoner was hoisted up onto the hook to hang by the ropes. Guards would return at intervals to tighten them until all feeling was gone, and the prisoner's limbs turned purple and swelled to twice their normal size. This would go on for hours, sometimes even days on end. Now, most of the prison has been destroyed to make room for the high-rise apartments in the area, but some of the prison remains, and the energy of the prison along with it. This area is where they held women and children, still in awful, crowded, and unsanitary conditions. Like I said, what I experienced and learned walking through this old prison camp was very interesting and also very eye-opening. It breaks my heart seeing the way that humans have treated other humans. But I think that it's really important that we take the time to learn about these things from our history and move forward from them. 
It's also important when we are walking through places like this to keep in mind that we are only hearing one side of the story and to do research from multiple sources to come to our own conclusions. So I got a vegetable curry. Look at this giant cathedral in front of us too. Holy crap. Oh, and pepper and salt. Thank you. What'd you get? I got uh what is this? It's like <laughs> bun cha basically. It's like it looks really good. Peanuts and pork and rice noodles. Yum. <laughs> So I didn't even explain to you guys what we were doing. So I made a friend on the way to the prison camp and it was really, really, really interesting and cool. As you guys saw, I kind of got upset at one part. It was, it was a lot, it was a lot of energy there, but now we're hungry. We're getting food, as you just saw, my food. And I got egg coffee, which I'm super excited to try. So let's give this a shot. You said it's really sweet, so I don't need to add sugar or anything. No, I don't need to. All right. That is really sweet, but it's really good. It's good, yeah. It's really good. It's not something I could drink all day, but it's a good treat for sure. All right, guys, that's pretty much wraps it up for this one. I hope you guys liked it, and I really hope you guys learned something. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and if you don't know what to comment down below, leave some heart emojis because we could all use some love and spread some love in our life. Not only does it help up my channel a lot, but it lets me know that you were here. It gives us a chance to chat. It lets me know you made it to the end of the video. And of course, I just love to see your faces down there. If you want another way to help out my video, down below there will be links to my website, my merch store, and my Patreon. There's zero obligation to check any of those out, but if you want to, you can. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I appreciate all of you so very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, hello there. Yes, uh, this is me casually drinking from my Ginky AF merch because uh, I don't have any bloopers to share. But if you like my cup or my shirt or some leggings or some socks, there's links in the description below. Be ginky as and enjoy your coffee or tea or water or whatever else you like to drink from mugs. <laughs>